Hello, welcome back. In the previous video, we worked on the update part of our user endpoint. All right, so in this video, we will stop working on the user model and then work on the book creating, okay, because we also need book API to create books and update. Okay, so let me head over to my models and then create a model called user, sorry, book, okay, book.js, like that. So what I need is const mongoose mongoose with the same same way we created what the users right so mongoose like that and let me create what um, a book schema so I will say const book schema is equal to new mongoose dot schema a schema is just like the blueprint or let me say um how you're going to structure your application and make some lot some logic inside there right so here what we need first property is called category okay and for this category i'll make it an object because i need to pass in some properties and the type of this one will be string, okay, and it's what required. Let me put it back to true, and then I can provide an array and say true, and provide my custom message and say um, book category is required, okay. And the next um, property is the author, right? So the author of this one, so let me provide as also a string right but as you proceed on okay the author of this is the the person who created this book okay so <laughs> after i made this paper sometimes i'll be confused about the author it means the person who's what creating it but it's not that the author here represent the person who what created that book but not you okay yeah so for example maybe you have a book called for example on react.js and on that book for example you, the book title is let's say how to hack react.js and that book is what written by somebody that's the author here i'm talking about so here type will be string and it's also required i see here i'll just provide true okay and the next is will be the title of the book so let me see the title will be um the type is also a string and it's also required okay true right and the last piece of the cake is the created by the person that is you who created this book so let me say created by and this one is we are making of relation okay you, because um, you want to know a user who actually created this book, okay, who is a client. So you have to provide what is called relationship. So here, the type of, um, we can do um, embed um, here, relationship here, but um, for performance sake, you have to do what? Parent referencing. So inside our user, we have this user model. We want to reference this user inside our book model here. So a user can create many books, right? So we can we can fetch this um, a book by user and a user by book, right? So because of that, I will make use of mongoose dot schema dot types dot object id. Look at the spellings and then come in case one. Okay, make sure it is same. Otherwise, you will face some bugs. And the next property is called the ref. Which model are you referencing? We are referencing the user. Well, that is where the user is coming from and then i would say it's required which is true okay good so next is we have to compile but i want to have additional property called timestamp so which means that when anytime you create a book it will give us the date the book was created and when it's updated give us the date the book was what updated by default so the timestamp i will just say to true and I'm good to go. So next, let's compile our schema into model. So I'll say cons is equal to mongoose.model and I'll provide as what is book, sorry, is book rather 
and then I'll provide the name of the name as my model as book and provide as what book schema and then I'll just say module export this one I will say module dot export which is equal to book as that so this is how you create a model for book and then the next video you will start working on the endpoint of the book model or the book API